We long for living faith, and so we come to worship, hoping that our time together, our time with God, will we'll help, help to unclench our fists, will slowly soften our hearts, <coughs> will we'll quiet our voices, and open our ears. Revive our faith, O oh God, that we might serve you with glad and joyful hearts. Let us pray. Holy Lord, maker of us all, you call us to love our neighbors as ourselves and teach us that faith without works is dead. Open us to the opportunities for ministry that lie before us where faith and words and the need of our neighbor come together in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God, who is faithful and just, will hear our prayer, forgive our sins, and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Trusting in God's goodness and in God's grace, let us come before God and offer our spoken and our silent prayers of confession. Gracious God, 
we come before you today knowing that we often fall short of your call to love one another well. We allow ourselves to be blinded by wealth and power. We ignore those around us who suffer injustice, poverty, and rejection. We tune out the cries of the poor and those on the edges of our communities. Help us to see your great generosity, hear your word of mercy, and feel your great love for all who need your redemptive grace. Strengthen us to reach out in service to those who are in need. Make us aware of those outside our own communities, that we may see them as your precious children and serve them in humility and joy. May we continue to grow in grace as we learn how to serve you. Good morning and welcome to worship today with the congregation of the Cherry Hill Presbyterian Church. No matter who you are or whenever you may be joining us or, or, or wherever you are, we pray that this time of worship will be a time of spiritual renewal for you for the days and the week ahead. We are truly honored to have all of you join us for this time of worship. There are a number of announcements this morning. First, we welcome back to Cherry Hill, Cherry Hill Church, Tridiv Chakraborty. Tridiv is a remarkable 15-year-old musician who was here with us last summer to play for a Sunday service and was here last October as part of our Music at Cherry Hill concert series. This past summer, he has done some recording here at the church, and Tridiv, we, well, there we are. Tridiv, we are truly uh, honored to have you with us and to have you share your gift of music with us today as part of our worship service. And it's a wonderful joy to have Anna Hustler back with us as our soloist this morning. Anna uh, is a member of our choir, and Anna has some good news to share. Anna became engaged a couple of weeks ago. So Anna, our prayers and our joy with you and John as you celebrate this new beginning in your life together. And while I'm sharing good news with you this morning, it's nice to have good news to share for you. With you. Um, we celebrate this morning with Angela and Brian Doty on the birth of their, uh, the birth of their daughter, Lily Suzanne Doty. 
uh, proud grandparents are members of our church as well, Jan and Larry Holmes, and of course, Aunt Suzanne as well. So Angela and Brian and uh, Jan and Larry and Suzanne and all of your family, we celebrate with you too and give thanks to God for the gift of this wonderful new life in your family. For the past several Mondays, we have been um, receiving and donations of cereal here at the church. And I cannot even begin to thank the members and friends of our congregation who have been so generous. Um, our, our box, our collection box has been overflowing the past two Mondays. We will continue to receive donations of cereal, which will be given to, to, to help children who, uh, while they're not in school, are not receiving breakfast. So far, we have collected well over 100, probably up to about 150 boxes of cereal just from the past two weeks. Donations may be brought to the church and left in the collection box outside on Mondays from 11 a.m. until 1 p.m. Next Sunday evening, we're going to try something. While we're unable to gather for in-person worship still, uh, we are going to, next Sunday should have been our homecoming Sunday, the Sunday where we all come back from summer vacation. It's, it's sort of like a reunion Sunday, it's rally day. There's always a lot of excitement. Well, we can't do that next Sunday morning. But next Sunday evening, from 6.30 to 7.30, we are going to have a church family reunion, a safe church family reunion in the parking lot. Members and friends of the congregation are invited to come and join us. Uh, we ask that you please wear a mask and we will keep uh, distance from each other as well. But the main purpose of the evening would just be an opportunity for us to be together, to see each other after so many months apart and uh, to enjoy fellowship with each other. If you are planning on coming next Sunday evening, we simply ask that you either call the church or uh, email us this coming week. There is more information in the bulletin which may be downloaded from the church website. This coming Saturday, September the 12th at 12 o'clock noon, there will be a live streamed memorial service for Wes Dalton, who died back in June. We will give thanks to God for the gift of Wes's life and for his faith. Again, the service will be live streamed on our Facebook page at noon on Saturday, September the 12th. And now may we continue in our worship. <laughs> 